Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video I want to finally talk about cyber security, information security, ethical hacking, penetration testing, you name it. It's just a variety of names but at the end of the day it's all about how you can secure your system or somebody's system and it's all about that. So this video is going to be all about that. But before we even get started with this video I want to say one more thing. This is exactly the time when a lot of people get started in information security. Now your source of how you want to travel into the information security can be different. It can be an online course, it can be an offline instructor nearby your house or maybe you are getting some trainings from some company, maybe you are buying some online course, maybe you are buying some online books, some Kindle books or some offline books. You might be reading some of the blogs but regardless, Whatever you are doing to get started in information security, first and foremost, it's an amazing field. And you'll be seeing a lot of like actions in this field. And on behalf of entire community of information security, I just want to say welcome on board. It's an amazing field and you are going to enjoy a lot here. I think one of the best thing of running this programming and tech community channel is I can welcome to a lot of people who are just getting started on onboarding onto various kind of programming things as well as as information security. So with this I would say hey welcome on board officially onto the information security regardless of whatever your resources are to learn it's an amazing community and you're going to enjoy a lot here. But the whole point of making this video was not to just welcome you on board and to say that this is an amazing field. The whole point of making this video was to tell you that information security is an amazing field. Yes, we do agree that. But there is a line of constraint that everybody has to keep in mind. Since you are playing with the system's security, probably yours or probably others, there is a very steep line that you always have to follow. You always and always have to play by rules. And once you try to bend the rules or anyhow you just slip from those rules, there can be harsh consequences. Now the goal of this video was not to scare away from information security. No, it was not at all. The goal of this video is to hear out this incident so that you can take better actions than what this person has taken as well as you can become much more proficient by playing with the rules. So understanding what are your rules and what are your limitations is like the most important thing in information security. Yes, you can be an amazing penetration tester. You might be the best of the best. You might have found hundreds of bugs or probably thousands of bugs in the amazing good websites. But your one mistake, a one mistake when you are not playing by rule can obviously get you in a lot of troubles. And obviously at this point, uh, if a lot of information security enthusiasts might be listening to this, might be agree with me that yes, we have to play by a lot of rules. We always have to take care of that. Now I want all of you to listen this incident onto a very, very positive attitude because you know, this story can obviously misjudged and can get emotional to a lot of you. But I, I'm just saying be positive and listen to the both side of the things and decide yourself because I'm not a player in this story. This is an incident which in this week happened to one of my friend I was like viewing all the things from kind of a top angle and I just wanted to share with you. Is it right or wrong? It's not with me. It's all about your judgment, what you call that. But I'm just sharing this incident to all of you so that you can take better decision what, what this person has taken here. Science told us how we could reach the other side. This incident is about one of my friend who is having a big IT company. Not very big, he just owns a staff of like 30 to 35 person, he manages them and they work for a variety of clients in designing their web products and mostly the web based product not onto a mobile design and uh, they always take care of the security as well but they don't take care in house about the security they usually just outsource it to one or two person and those two persons happen to be working for a police as well as a consultant and the part time they work for this company to test out their latest product can find out the bugs and vulnerabilities in all of them and can report back to the uh, developers so that they can fix them up so it's all going good pretty good and this week my client was having a big meeting with one of the potential client uh, where they were looking forward to close this deal and in the moment they were about to close the deal the client actually saw that on their about us page onto one of the portfolio that they sent uh, it was written that hey 
uh, I mailed you about your security issues. You didn't took a step anything like that. So I'm replacing your about us page by this page and then there was a you know the hacking stuff. Somebody replaced that page with his own custom page with some hacking stuff written over there and saying at the bottom hacked by this this this. Now exactly at that point of time the deal went completely into the other direction because whenever a client is looking forward to give you any project like that and things like this shows up it can really take your deal into the other direction and here is my point when you are going to be touching anybody's business uh, from whose the entire family is running whose entire staff is running people can get a little bit carried away and i hope you understand what i'm saying if not let me just carry on with this incident so my friend got a little bit angry that who is the person who is saying that I try to report a vulnerability and since you didn't listen to me, I have uploaded a shell on your website and then I have defaced your about us page. Who is that guy? He crawled through his email list because obviously if somebody is working onto this scale, the emails are pretty often to be piled up there. He looked into all of his email and there he found a buried up email, uh, actually two or three email which was saying that hey, there is a vulnerability in your website and I can just report it to you and you should give me some money for reporting this vulnerability. The moment he found out all this situation, he had absolutely no idea what to do. So he called up his consultant, which was like a contractor position for him. And luckily for uh, this, my friend or unluckily to the person who actually hacked into the website, this consultant is really powerful one and he has got really good links uh, in the police department as well. So the consultant went on to the company's office and discussed all these things and he showed the email that this is the email that guys tried to approach me since there was a lot of work it got piled up and we were not able to uh, forward this email to you so that you can fix the stuff. And the consultant said, the information security consultant said that hey no big deal we can actually solve the situation even better we can get you something more onto it. So he just took the email and actually the shell was uploaded after logging in into the website. So the attacker who actually uploaded the shell and everything, all these things, first of all, he logged in from his email ID. Uh, they have got all these IP addresses and all these things. And the email was also there that, hey, I want to report a vulnerability. So there was enough proof uh, so that some action can be taken against this person. So this consultant, uh, my friend was actually getting mad on this consultant little bit that hey, uh, you are checking so much of our products, why couldn't you check our website first? And the consultant said, hey, uh, we are also humans, sometimes security get updated over time and probably we might have missed one, but don't worry, we can fix this situation. The consultant also got a little bit mad here and he said, hey, you know what? Uh, this person actually tried to unauthorize, get an unauthorized access onto your computer as, as well as he might have tried to do a cyber espionage or a corporate espionage and might have tried to steal all of your data and client information and might be trying to sell that onto the market. So this can be a little bit dangerous situation. So you definitely want to register an FIR in the police station as well as hire up a lawyer so that we can see that how much... Uh, how many of the IT acts we can pull upon him and can just fix these issues. And obviously my friend wanted to present an example in front of his client that we take cybersecurity absolutely seriously and we take full measure and step to stop these kinds of things. So my friend along with the consultant who is having big strings in the police department went onto the police station and lodged this FIR. Now the police guy actually got really little bit happy and said that hey the consultant is already here. So we should not be much bothered. He is going to anyway crack down the case because he has been working for a very long time with us. And the email ID was there. The IP was there. In fact, uh, just being contacting that person would be not so hard. So he set up all the things and legal issues and the address was cracked. Not at all a big deal when you have like all the things like IPs and email address. And even when the person is ready to get contacted uh, so that somebody can give him bug bounty. So within two days or probably three days, two or three days, they actually cracked up the entire location and who is the person is. So it was just probably like 100 or 120 kilometers from the Jaipur uh, where my friend's office is. And with the consultant along with the police team, the, everybody went to the home of the person who is having uh, this expectation of getting a bug bounty. Now, I am not aware of the situation like what happened next because I haven't got much updated updates from my friend. But the thing is, 
that yes police is now on to the door of this person and probably will be charging him for a variety of acts because the FIR has been launched now it's all dependent on how they want to resolve this situation but the big point that we want to understand from this situation is that when you work on to information security or ethical hacking or anything like that there is a very straight line on which you have to walk you cannot just cross this line on this side or either this side there are a lot of rules that you have to follow you cannot just pen test to any random site which is just online available and you cannot expect like anybody will be giving you like a bug bounty or is liable to give you some amount because you have found a vulnerability onto that now don't get wrong here because everybody who gets started in fact me also gets a little bit emotional about security and probably might have been seeing like hey he's having so much vulnerability why do why doesn't he fix up now fixing up that thing or not is not at all my business my business is all about reporting them if they have asked me to do so and on top of that even if you have permission and if you upload somebody on somebody's website these kinds of things like shells it can be extremely dangerous and anybody can put you behind the bars now the position of saying that whether the company was right my friend was right or the person who was doing the penetration testing was right or not it's completely out of the situation here i don't want to discuss that thing all i want to discuss here is that always play by rules when you're working in information security it's it's a lot of uh, business here going on and if you want to if you are trying to some trying to defame anybody or trying to put all these things on social media or on a blog article without the permission of that person obviously he can take actions against it and that's all is about the cyber laws that are there in fact i would recommend you to go to any bug bounty hunter or an experienced cyber security enthusiast who has been doing quite well into this field for like five or six year and has reported a few bug bounties he will obviously tell you that hey it's not like you can just report bug bounties to anybody there are proper websites and proper channel through which you can report these bugs and when you're reporting these bugs if you put anything on social media or your blog article about that vulnerability in detail uh, they are not going to give you any bug bounties in fact they can take legal actions against you because when you're registering on these websites also you obviously have read the terms and condition you have agreed to them which obviously nobody reads but there are a lot of terms there in that policies that says hey uh, you just have to work silently with us for that client you cannot just show off onto social medias or blog articles at least not without the permission of these clients now if client is ready that you can post a blog about our bug that you have found and we have fixed that that's a complete different situation because now you have got permission for the uh, from the client but if you haven't got the permission from the client he obviously can take charges against you and can say hey he tried to defame us or he tried to get an unauthorized access on our website or there are a lot of things that he or she can do uh, for doing all these things when you get started in information security or ethical hacking it's it's obvious that you're going to get emotional about these things because these things contains a lot of actions which happen live on a website but uh, being emotional about somebody else's security is none of your business and it should never be unless and until you are getting paid for that or you are being authorized to do so so always always keep in mind that you always have to play by rules as a summary of this very very long video all i want to say is cyber security information security is an amazing field there is a lot of potential here but keep in mind that you have to read a lot a lot of books a lot of online courses a lot of blogs and even have to read a lot about uh, designing your own exploits or script and all of that so it's an amazing field but keep in mind that you are playing with a lot of rules and a lot of security of a big companies can be at the stake and nobody takes that as granted so play always by the rule register through proper website go through proper channel if you want to report any bug bounty if the person is not replying to you for those bugs don't get emotional and make sure you don't post them on any social media website or blog at least without the permission of that particular client they can always get you behind the bars if they are they are ready to take some steps there and probably they want to make an example out of you so please please do take care of that so that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and you can also hit subscribe because we are all tech here talking all about programming and tech stuff and videos like this. So that's it for this video and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next one.